Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. Today I'm going to talk about the pitfalls of starting an e-commerce business and some of the pitfalls that most business owners fall into when they start their e-com business up. So before we dive into the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Let's dive into the video guys. So pitfall number one is they do not do enough market research before they launch their product. And, you know, I, I know it's exciting. I know it's really cool. You can just go on AliExpress. You can purchase a product. You can either do drop shipping with it or you can have it sent to you in a truckload and you can launch your store within a month. Great. But the problem is, is people are so focused on taking action. They don't do more of the strategic side, the strategic side of actually learning about the market, learning about the market's problems and seeing if there's some type of fit with validating the product works. So this is the unsexy part. This is the not so fun part. And this is the part of reading lots of reviews of similar products. You know, say for example, if you wanna go into the beauty niche, maybe hair care, maybe specifically shampoo, go read all kinds of different articles about other shampoos, reviews, look at their websites and stuff and figure out what they lack compared to what you can offer. So find the problem within a product and that way you can better present your product to the market. Um, I, I, I see this more common with clothing brands and you know, they, they come up with this cool design for themselves. They think it's really cool. They might have a few of their buddies tell them it's cool and they launch it and it does horribly at mass because just it's unfortunate that, you know, the other people just don't think it's a cool design like they do. So really understand the problem your product feels in the market. And if you don't quite understand that, then you need to go back to the drawing board and clearly identify this before you launch and before you really invest and start testing and stuff like that really clearly identify the problem you bring you solve in the market the benefit of using your product your unique selling point and try to identify those things before you really take the time to start spending money on ads and everything this is going to make your marketing message more clearly put together now number two is spending too much money or time on a store design um i've had a prospect I wants to work with the agency reach out to me and told me he spent you know five to six figures on a website design and um you know some fortunate stuff happened and he's literally starting back up from scratch spending like barely three to four figures on this new new design based off my recommendations because a store design needs to be simple a store design literally just needs to be black and white white background black navigation bars black text with your hints of color for your branding so if you have a lot of greens use some green for your add to cart button your purchase button and maybe a few like highlights on the page and stuff and some of your other branding and stuff but a simple and clean design is all you need. What matters about a store design is your product page. Now there's a few other pages that are must haves on a website that I'll do another video for, but it's just like privacy policy, shipping policy, a ca uh, contact us section, literally linking your Instagram and Facebook links in there to where people can see you on social media, have an about you page, have a donation page. So something recently been testing is, is showcasing that we donate to chari a specific charity that our dear audience loves. And we actually do donate to the charity, but it, it just increases that offer, makes us much more sweeter when someone purchases from our brand. But the core concept is your product page. And we want to see a lot of social proof on that page, clearly identifying the problems the product solves, identifying the benefits, any facts and questions and stuff they, they possibly have when they're going to purchase and having all of that listed on the product page and that's going to make much more of an impact than having this really fancy website that does this spinning little cool animation when you load it that's not going to give you a clear ROI to your product and a clear ROI on your brand it's cool branding stuff but it's something when you need to be lean and green that you do not need to be worried about you need to be focused on content quality that helps people sell people on your product versus these cool animations and cool designs on your website. Now, number three is not spending time on creatives. So what will normally happen is you get your product in, you'll take some clean like white background shots of it and you'll run it with Facebook ads and like not get any results. And there's a two part one, so I'm gonna have another like 
bullet point in a second about the ad side, but more specific on the creative side. You really need to do part of your market research of what type of creative sell for this product. Analyze other brands, analyze competitors' ads, analyze the content they're posting on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, analyze influencers in the niche using this particular product that, you know, other people are using. If it's like shampoo and you're about to make this new shampoo that's completely different than all of them, then see how shampoo is being sold for all these other brands. You really need to understand what creatives you need to bring to the market because the better the creatives you bring to the market when you launch, it's going to speed up your process of essentially succeeding with the business. So you need to have some really good creatives and you need to spend your time on getting those taken care of before you start spending money on ads. Now, number four, is having a proper testing strategy for your advertising and not spending too little. So some brands they'll spend very little. Like let's say for example, they're selling a hundred dollar product, they'll spend 50 bucks, not get a purchase, scrap the product, move on to the next thing. And that's quite false because when we're testing, we're gonna spend a large amount, but in a very strategically driven way. And if you're more interested in that, then you know we can hop on a call by clicking link below and um, you know we can talk more about that or even take more of my courses on how to launch and scale your Facebook ads. So we have a very concise way of how we launch and scale an ad account and you better, you need to make sure you're testing the, uh, I think it's like three or four variables, the audience, the creative type and the copy. Uh, so you need to be able to test all three of those variables in a consistent way when you launch and spend a good bit amount of money, get some data back. Now, number five is not delivering the right message to the market. You got your you got your creatives right, your website design, all this looks good, but the message you're sending to the market is like the Apple and MP3 message. Apple, 1,000 songs in your pocket when they launched iPod, massively successful. MP3 or Samsung with the MP3 player, the two gigabyte MP3 player. One of them had a very a much stronger call to action, benefits to the market, and a very clearly articulated message to the market. Whereas the other one is very confusing. So make sure you're articulating your message properly to the market. Well, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. This is the five pitfalls most Shopify brand owners and business owners of e-commerce fall into. I really hope this video helps you kind of stop some of those. If you are a e-com business owner and you're looking to hit six figures a month, then make sure you click the link below to book a call with me and my creative team and we'll, we'll discuss of how we can improve your marketing tactics. My name is Nick Terrio. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Talk to you guys later. Peace.